Girl, 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 Cardi B got something to say. And baby, when I tell you, it's getting nasty. Yeah, girl, it's going to get nasty up in here. So Cardi B is talking to Kyle. If you guys don't know who Kyle is, I don't know who Kyle is. Shit. All I know, he used to work for the shave room and he real close with Nikki. And he has a blog called The Neighborhood Talk, which I love to go over there because he's always posting. That's it. I don't know nothing about the bottom. Okay. So Cardi B says, Kyle, watch when I catch your ass. Okay. So um, Cardi coming for that, that behind. You know what I mean? And um, so I guess he responds, you know what? At this point, I'm sick of this. You are mad for no reason. Okay. She said, I'm sick of it too. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Can we just stop? If you guys are both sick of it, can you guys just please either just, just, y'all can be able to solve it if you guys want the same solution, okay? I'm considering Cardi B doesn't want Kyle to talk about her or post about her anymore. And Kyle, I don't know if he feel conflicted because Cardi B is part of pop culture and he wants to do it to get the views or, you know, I don't know. Um, so let's go down here. It says, one second, I got the receipt. Hold up, okay? Cardi said, you constantly do interviews with my name on it, okay? I don't say nothing. And he says, and do whatever with this as you please, because I'm tired of you hating me for no reason, okay? Um, Cardi said, I told you to stop posting me, okay? Girl, what y'all think about that, honey? Okay, so he also posted a whole thing over here saying, Stop sending me posts from Cardi B, y'all. I tried, y'all. I really did. I'm not sure how she's seeing my post with my page on private. I was blocked, but she unblocked me to cuss me out and further threaten me for the fourth, fifth time. I don't even release DMs, but I'm tired of her telling me what I'm not going to do on my page. She doesn't do this or to any other white outlet. I'm sure she go on live and trash me again. The interview she's referring to is when I was, when, when I said she hated me. Did I lie though? She lied and said I made a fake account. Hold on. She made a fake account. She, I made a fake account and never cleared that up. I mean, I'm tired of sitting quiet. This the same person who said they changed two weeks ago. Okay, go figure. All right. So that's what he said. Okay. All right. So um, let's. Hey, we ain't done yet. Cause y'all ready for this? So yes, Cardi, she goes on her um her video. Okay. We about to click it right here. Y'all ready for this? All right. So Cardi. Let them know how you really feel. And tell us the real tea, girl. All right? DJ, stop because Cardi got something to say. Cardi, go on, boo. Go on. Go on, Cardi. Say what you got to say. Tell you something, right? I'm really sick and tired of people acting fucking dumb. I'm really fucking sick and tired of people acting stupid. And I'm going to address this one more time. And this is going to be the last time. Because since people want to do it, since people want to publicly since people want to be showing dms and doing the most i'm gonna can say this one time if i don't put you if you don't for me and you know you don't for me stop playing stop gaslighting on my dms like what are you talking about first of all i had an issue with this blog right matter of fact y'all know that blog the shade room i used to tell them every single time i used to comment under the like, yo, somebody's deleting my comment. And I once called people in the shade room liking shit about me. Liking shit about me, right? And um, I confronted them about that. And they wanted to act like I was crazy. I used to answer. Hold on. So wait, 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 wait. See? Y'all need to stop with these ads. Hold on, okay? Because they trying to, do, listen, I'm trying to get some tea and I can't, and I'm not at home to do what I really want to do, you know? Sick. So, hold on. Bam. So, um, once I guess they fire certain people from they, all that stopped. Now, I 
haven't spoken about the shade room in a long time because you know i told them to stop posting me people think that i sue them or i got a, a, a order on them no i never did that they just stopped posting me and i stopped speaking on them because it is what it is it's it's just a respect thing and that's that there's no issue if 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 me if me and you have if me and you have a disagreement we don't put each other just leave it at that i don't understand why i don't fuck with people and i told them yo stop posting me stop doing this why they be acting i don't understand why you don't like me why you don't this but you'll be linking up with people i don't fuck with and you'll be talking about me and it's proven that you're talking about me because the person that you talk about me to is talking about oh Oh, um, I've been knowing about these DMs months ago. Why? Because you guys be talking about me. And then y'all be trying to make me say certain names on the DMs and keep me going, keep me going on the DMs so you could go around and show it to your friends and everything. And it's like, I don't care if you post good or bad. If I tell you don't, just don't. Because I don't f*** with you. And especially if you're going to post my family. I don't give a f*** if it's positive or not. I don't want that fake love. Your own consumers, your own people don't like me. And they're asking you, why are you posting me? So why are you doing it? And then, and then they want to claim, oh, you accused me of something that I wasn't. And you never apologized. I did tell the mother my bad on, on the DM. I said, and I was wrong for that. And I told them I was wrong for that. I, maybe I should have said sorry, but I but I admit that I was wrong on that. And I told him on the DM, so why are you going, she never apologized for it? No, because I did it in private. I did it in private. I told you in private I was wrong for that. But the thing is that y'all want this public there because y'all want y'all y'all want me to talk about it. I'm mother Cardi B. I'm talking about some dumb people probably don't even know what I'm talking about, and I still got 35,000 viewers. And I'm not even really doing nothing. Now I'm trying to go to the DM where I personally told them that I was wrong for something that I did. But you know, the mother blocked me. And that's my thing. Like as I stop with the fake, I'm really tired of people gaslighting and I'm really tired of people race baiting. Like one thing that I don't like is when people are saying, oh, you don't have this energy for this type of blog. You don't have this energy for this. But it's a proven fact that I have. Like for example, I have come I have come, um, this is the time, this is the live that I did when I came for page six for posting, um, for posting that I was talking about some 10 year olds when I wasn't. So those are the proof that, that I say that I come at blogs, I come at Spanish blogs, I come at blogs, I come at everybody. So when people be out here trying to race bait that I only come at blogs because it's convenient for them, I don't like that. I come for everybody that I that that's tried me. So don't do that for your motherfucking convenience. That's one thing I don't like. Like, don't be doing that to me, bro. And it's like, this is the last time I'm going to talk about it because I'm just sick of the mess. I'm sick of the mess. I'm sick of the gaslighting. I'm sick of asking people on DM the nice and the bad way. If you want enough an apology from me because I accused you of something that I thought, even though I know I told you my bad on DM, you want it publicly, I'm sorry, my bad for that, but you need to admit the book that you used to do when you was working for people, and you need to admit that you be popping shit about me with, with people that I don't f with, which they claim they sell, I'm not even making it up, they said it themselves, so that's that. If I was wrong for something, I'm wrong for that. I'm a grown. And when I talk to people, grown people, I talk to them like a grown person. However, some people, they don't give a fuck about talking like a real. Detroit. They want to play that fake card. They want to play that victim card. They want to play that bullshit card because they want to keep it going. Because what excites them is bullshit. And I'm, I'm the one to let y'all know right now, I'm not with that bullshit. I'm not with that. Ah, uh, here come this cursing me out. So that's that. I hope everybody have a good holidays. I'm not with the this holidays. Every uh, everybody have a good motherfucking holiday. Great holiday. Uh, put some honey in your mother eggnog. Um, 
I'm looking for a Miami nail tech for today. I want to get my nails and my feet done. Please, I need somebody to do nails and feet. Not just my fucking... Well, you heard it. You heard it. You heard it. And you seen it all, boo. What y'all think about that? What y'all think about that, honey? Girl. All right. Let's look at the um the, sh the neighborhood talk uh, comment section, okay?